I just love being down there and hearing the, the water run and fish jumping around a little bit and an eagle flying by, by, bear coming up thinking he's going to steal my fish. Perfect day. We are part of the ecosystem here and it's our responsibility to, to take care of it but also to live here. When we humans were created, it was the salmon who stepped up to feed us in the beginning of time. And so we've been taught that since they stepped up for us first, that it's our inherent responsibility to stick up for them. In my day when I was a teenager or, or a little bit younger, our river was our main highway. And uh, to me, fishing was great with our canoes. We treat them with respect and we learn that in a sense they're a person. They have lungs, they have a heart, they have kidneys and that was our main travel. We always had some sort of fishing going on. Something was always happening in the river, whether it's a trout or steelhead, salmon, sturgeon, eels. The Klamath River is our heart line, and we use the fish in our ceremonies, and so it's important to us spiritually with the coming of non-Indians into the area and the taking over of the land and the resources that were stolen from us, that caused for a decline in the habitat and in the population of fish. Today we have probably 90% of what we had in the past. The health of the river determines the health of the people and our river's been very sick, not due to anything we've done because we've been excellent stewards of the Klamath River since time immemorial, but from other governmental decisions and choosing where the water should go, and they chose not for it to go um, for the fish in the river. The Yurok tribe has gone along with many of our ancestral ways of shutting the river down certain times, letting fish pass at certain times, giving them a break, trying not to stress them out. We have open and closed times. We have very strict rules and regulations. We don't want to over harvest. York people have done a really good job at understanding those systems, understanding the fish, understanding what they need. I would put my life on the line to protect our fishing and water rights because it means so much to who the York people are. We will always take care of this place because that's our purpose. That's why we're, we're created here. You know, we'll clean our fish and leave that one for the bear, or the eels, or the, the seagulls. You know, everybody gets to come down and have a little feast. And to me, that, that's a perfect day.